Darren Jurgen here on behalf of the NCAA and the University of Chicago following the Maroons 1-0 victory over Gustavus Adolphus in the quarterfinal round of the 2022 NCAA Men's Soccer Championships. I'm joined from left to right by Richard Gillespie, head coach Julianne Sitch, Lyndon Hu, and Griffin Wada. So uh, you guys are going to the Final Four. Uh, how about some opening thoughts on that, coach? <laughs> um, it's awesome. Um, a huge congratulations to the team. I mean, you know, just from the performance yesterday and just coming back and, you know, getting through that game and with that amazing comeback and just the belief and confidence that I think we had in ourselves and within our, within each other and the team, I think that carried over to today. And you could just tell how we started today and how we played full 90 minutes. And, you know, I never had a, a, a any sort of fear, and I don't think they did either. I think we just came out strong, ready to go, and that belief and confidence carried over for 90 minutes. Yeah, we'll open it up to some questions here from the Hyde Park Herald. Hi, right, Coach. Uh, I just want to ask, like, do you know any teams that you think that you would definitely match up with or match up against, like, in the uh, Final Four so far? Um, I think everyone, like, at this point, everyone is good, and everyone's bringing their best game every single day. So, you know, we do the same thing. We step out on the field, and we bring our best game as well. Uh, Landon, I just want to ask, like, uh, how did it feel to score that, that only goal? Yeah, it felt great. Um, I got to give a shout out to my boy, Alex Gomas. Uh, stepped in, um, big playoff game. He stepped in yesterday, too. Had a fantastic game. Um, made a great run down the line. Drew the pen. Um, and tucking away was felt great. Um, but I think it's just a testament to everyone on this team. Um, some people that like people haven't seen that are putting in the work and that contribute so much to this program. Um, and so, yeah, I think it's great that he was able to get in, make that big impact. Um, and yeah, felt amazing to put it away. Back to you, Coach. Uh, I just want to ask, like, how's Alex Lee doing? He's been okay? phenomenal. I mean, he is like a spark that he comes off the bench. He brings life to the game. Um, he works his tail off, you know, on both sides of the ball. And, you know, he's been just a great addition um, to the program in general, and he'll continue to be a, a big part of the program. So is he okay so far? Health-wise, he's oh, good. Oh, yeah. sorry. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> my bad, my bad. Um, yes, no, he, he is good. He'll be okay. Thanks for getting yeah. there. I mean, question for me, um, honestly, we'll just start with, with Rich, um, but obviously Griff could chime in on that. Just um, talk a little bit about kind of the depth in the group, and obviously, you know, Nas had to be slotted back in there with you guys. Um, not, not a bad pairing of center backs to have uh, to be slotted in, mm -hmm. in in an emergency there. And, um, you know, Gomas obviously kind of showing himself. So just talk a little bit about the depth that you guys have really in the whole squad, but especially on the back line. Yeah, I think – all across the field, every position, we've got guys five, six deep, and anyone on this team can step in and make an impact. Uh, today, David Martin stepped into the midfield when Nas came back into the back line, and he showed he showed many times before that he can do a job, and he's gritty, and he'll win balls and um, do the job that he needs to do, keep the team moving forward. Um, and yeah, I guess I don't really have much more to say to that, Griff. Yeah, I mean, that's a tough Gustavus Adolphus team. I mean, I think our experience showed through again. We, we, have, we have been here. We're going back to the Final Four again, and this time I feel like we're, we're poised to win it. I think we were a little young last year, none of us having really been there except for Ben. Um, but I feel like this really has been building for about seven, eight years now. Like, it's been our alumni that have built this program. It's just we're reaping the benefits now. So for you, Coach, um, just build a little bit on that, especially the way you guys were able to kind of kill the game there in the second half. The, the the fresh legs you were able to bring on and rotate was a huge factor. Um, and I would say that, honestly, your front line was as good defensively as the guys that are sitting to the left and right of you, correct? So yeah, absolutely. I mean, that. I mean, for sure. And it starts from that top to the bottom, you know, just that defensive pressure and being able to press and win the ball back. And, you know, they initiate that pressure. And, you know, the guys sitting next to us, like, they're able to just – it makes their job easier, right? And they can be able to pick up the ball and they know where it's going. And yeah. so that front line has done a great job of just showing and, and pushing that pressure to a side that it's easy for us to read and, and win. And, you know, I definitely want to – just bounce off of the stuff that Griff said as well is like it's a hundred percent like this program has been building for years right and I think it's a huge shout out to the coaches in the past right to get to where we're at this day because they have done a lot of work on the recruiting they've done a lot of work to put this team in the spot that they're in now and like Griff said like we're in we're in this situation now and it's a huge testament to the legacy that these alum and the past coaches have have given us this opportunity here today. Yeah, so for you, Lyndon, obviously, you know, you were the goal scorer, but it was completely a team effort. Um, obviously, Griff and Rich were really strong in the back, but it seemed like, especially in the first half, you guys were really bossing the mid as well. 
Um, they just didn't really have a lot of opportunities to get the ball into the attacking third. So just talk a little bit about the uh, defensive effort. Um, I know you're the goal scorer, but the defensive effort is something yeah. to talk about today, right? Yeah, I thought we uh, did a really good job of sealing them in. So um, once they won the ball, uh, we would repress them right away. Um, and I think maybe for them on their end, uh, a little heavy legs from yesterday. And um, I guess props to them for coming out in the second half, playing with their season on the line and, and bring energy. Um, but yeah, I think we were confident going in the first half. We wanted to uh, put them in the ground. Uh, Griff gave a very good uh, motivational speech for the game. Um, so yeah, we, we knew that if we kept on them, um, we could kind of like suffocate their attacks. Um, and so yeah, shout out to all the boys um, who did a good job Boston midfield, dominating the game. Um, and I think the better team won today. All right, and the last thing that um, I'll, I'll kind of pitch to, to Rich and, and Griff being some of the, the senior leaders on the team, you guys have now been there before. You're going back, and that's great, and, you know, the job is done here. But just talk to us maybe about, um, you know, kind of what to expect um, at the Final Four and maybe some areas that you guys think that you could play, not play better, but mm -hmm. just be a little bit more confident going into the, to the weekend. Yeah. I think last year when we went to the Final Four, uh, it took us about 50 minutes to really get settled into the game. And I think this year uh, we should be able to do a better job controlling the nerves and settling down uh, more quickly. Uh, but I think in terms of things this team can improve on right now, I think if we just stick to our identity of working hard and uh, going into tackles hard and repressing and all of that, I think we're in a great position um, to where we have a, a chance to win it all. Yeah, not, you know, just last question, I guess, for, for you, Coach. Um, obviously, it's your first year with the program, but just talk a little bit about your depth and experience and how that can help you on the national stage that you'll be yeah, on. Yeah, absolutely. In, in I mean, weeks. Yeah, I mean, I think you're looking at three people right here, you know, especially with just the leadership that Griff and Rich have been able to bring. And, you know, they have been huge leaders and the huge people putting you know putting forward with all of this and leading and leading the team but I also think like behind them you know you have Lyndon you have Will like you have not like you have so many other people that are also amazing leaders and I think that's one of the greatest things about this team and I think Griff and Rich have done a phenomenal job of leading this group and getting them to this point I've you know all the faith in the world that them and the other leaders and stuff will continue to step up and you know and get this team to where we where we want to be. So that'll wrap things up. Um, kind of what we're hearing here is it's a deep and extremely connected group, and that will help you guys going forward. Um, so congratulations to you four on advancing to the Final Four again. As crazy as that is to sound, that's, that's a huge accomplishment. But I know for you guys, kind of the best is yet to come. So um, we'll, we'll hope for that and uh, get ready and, and gas it up again for Virginia. So thanks to you four, right? Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, you want to ask one? Yeah. I just have two more questions. No, 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 okay. yeah. no, you're good. <laughs> Sorry. So um, give so, them some good questions. Gotcha. So I'll ask you. I mean, I ask um, Rich. Like, you guys think this? Well, you guys think this is probably the best team, like in the program's history? Uh, it's tough to say. Yeah. I mean, before before me and Rich were here, we had probably the, the best offense this program's ever had. Mm -hmm. um, and I think me and Rich. I don't want to say we have the best defense because that's a little cocky, but I think we're pretty good right now. Okay. Um, so I'm not going to rank us against other teams, but I'd say we'd give them a run for their money. Okay. Statistically, it was the best defense in the country last season. So <laughs> these these not... guys over here, though. Yeah. Those two, yeah. some bowlers. Um, or my last question, Rich. Yeah. Um, so what do you think you guys need to work on as far as like, getting ready for um, the Final Four? Like, What things do you guys need to like improve on more? Um, I think that these next three days, we just need to continue to get after it before we go for a brief Thanksgiving break. Um, what specifically do I think we need to work on? Uh, maybe some more movement uh, in the offense, just like adding layers to that. I think we've done a great job uh, thus far, um, but we just can't get stagnant um, and we need to make sure that we continue making runs and sacrificial runs uh, to, to where space opens up for other players. It. Yeah, and it's been a couple week grind for you guys too, so getting healthy and rested will be huge as well. Mm -hmm. that. Yeah. So, yeah. Again, we are actually done this time. Right? <laughs> <laughs> See ya. Thanks, guys.